Caleb would be the best fucking supply NCO on the planet. No, he would no, be the no, funniest. No, 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 oh, no, no, supply no. guy, 100%. No. I don't know. I, I want you to picture him the cook on a submarine. Yeah, that just like a damn periscope. Down periscope. Down, that would actually yeah. be pretty good. He's smoking a cigar. <laughs> He's got the Cracker Jack hat. He's like, oh, today is special. Yeah. We got freaking Salisbury steak and yeah. Salisbury's extra Salisbury. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, you could have warned me. You didn't know he was here. No, I just rolled up to your house like it's a normal Friday I, I per I, usual. I guess I, uh, not having Instagram, I don't realize. Like, you can't just see Oh, things. God, I, I just <clears throat> remembered that because I, I took the picture with your mural out front and made a post, like, time for seconds, coming on for the second time on Time for Pie, and I tried to tag you, and you weren't you weren't there. I don't exist. I know. Tag Are you, you. just not going to make another one, or...? Not yet because they, uh, I'm being told might, I'm getting back, back, getting okay. back. Okay. So, uh, oh, so being told by who? By people uh, like, like Dave Instagram. Yeah, 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 Dave Instagram. Like he, he invented Instagram in 1975. Yeah. <laughs> so did they think that you were your account was not you, and that's why they got that's rid of what you because you were faking it? The reason yourself? for deletion was I was impersonating a a celebrity. I don't know what that means. Like, do, wild. It, like, mm. did they finally? Did they finally like? Hey, why? Why was this guy even remotely kind of popular? Like, no, <laughs> no, this not wasn't that allowed. Yeah, the Weinstein's yeah. finally got back in power. Yeah. It's almost you know, like, like Instagram should have a real criteria for giving out those blue check marks instead of just giving it out to people they like. Yeah. Well, that would avoid I, no, situations I think like what this. It, I think yeah. what it is is it's more. It's like everything. Where there, when when you have something like Instagram that becomes culture, there are multiple underlying industries that then flock up. So so like this is a pub publicist thing. So it, I I I think like what it what it was for a while was like a publicist that had was hired by somebody, you know, working for a celebrity, a writer, or a sports athlete, or something like that, where. The verification people would only speak to publicists um, because I visited Instagram headquarters in 2019, and there's only there is only one person in each category that works for verification. So you have your sports athletes. That's only one human that works from Man, Monday to Friday. All pro athletes. They're the only ones that can verify athletes, and then wow. you have authors. <clears throat> and you have entrepreneurs and you have degenerates actors. like me. Yeah. So like at, at the end of the day, that that whole area, the verification area was seven people. So like and now imagine they're imagine being one of those and your friends knowing that you're one of those. How many phone calls are you getting? I or like, mean drunk like hey dude can you verify my buddy hey yeah. dude hey just just wanted to yeah. chat with you like i bet that that job was infuriating and i bet that they didn't tell people they did that job yeah. <laughs> had a lot of favors called in that's never going to get returned but then there's 600 employees in instagram's building they all those employees know where the verification office is so now how many times are you being visited by joe over in homepage that's like, hey man, uh, here's here's a list of ten of my ten of my friends. <laughs> like, it becomes a I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy, right? Yeah, I mean, to be, I don't really care about getting the check mark for like, oh, I have a check mark. I just care because I have like so many different fake accounts actually trying to scam people. That's the only reason. That's I That's the only reason. Like, if you go That's on TikTok, it. there's I had fifty yeah. fake fat electrician TikTok yeah. accounts pretending yeah. to be me. And I would get emails every day. Hey, this person told me to mm -hmm. message them on WhatsApp. Is this really you? It's like, no, well, same thing. please not. don't but message yeah. them. Yeah. I have women. It's all women that were like, oh, I was in a relationship with you for a year. Mm -hmm. No, you weren't. And I then, just, yeah, yeah. Or, or like one of them was like, well, this guy, he had me send six new iPhones to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where was the red flag That's in your head? your I, fault. Look, yeah. to be honest, in their defense- of all the people I've met where that might be real, you're up there yeah. on that list of like, if I've <laughs> ever met somebody that, that would call me at one in the morning, be like, bro, I need Listen. you to send me an iPhone to Nigeria and don't ask questions. I'd be like, Fuck. There's, a, there's a greater than 0% chance that this so, might be real. <laughs> 
so I got a I got a pretty decent story with this because you know, obviously these guys are getting better at it. There's all kinds of different crazy schemes going around, but but yeah, like uh, about three or four years ago, I get a Facebook Messenger message from a pilot that flew for me in Iraq, F-14 pilot in combat. I've stayed in touch with him for for since 2005, but he messaged me on Messenger. And he's like, hey, dude, me and the wife are, are in the UK on vacation and we got robbed. And like, I don't have any of my IDs. I don't have any of this. I need 600 bucks like to get us back to like London proper. Like it was a very well typed out thing because at first like bad English or shitty storytelling yeah. is going to, is gonna, so it was well written. And um, that's that was like the first cue of like, okay, this actually... This actually looks legit. Like yeah. he's because he's, because he, he he was giving me the plan of I need six hundred dollars that gets us back into London proper. Then I can file to get a, a, a new ID or a visa or something yeah. like that, and then we can start making our way back home and canceling cards and shit like that. And I go, cool, dude. I'll send it right over. Does PayPal work? And he's like, yeah. I go, all right. What was your call sign? <laughs> like he's a fighter pilot, and <laughs> and he goes wah, wah. and he goes and he, he's like what. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What was my call sign? I'm like, what was your call sign? What's wrong? Gordon? Chat GPT didn't know like, that one, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> dude, dude, we've known each we've known each other. When what they use the 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 date because you know Facebook tells you you've been friends since 2014. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like we've known each other since 2014. I was like, no, <laughs> 2005. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, oh, busted. And they yeah. like got angry. They were like, fuck you. You, you're not my friend. You're not my friend. Yeah. I call him like later that day. I tried to call him, couldn't get a hold of him. And then and then he called me back hours later. And they had they had they had taken like fucking 20, 25 of their friends, fell for it and sent it money. Cause they, they were in his yeah. Facebook. Yeah. But I was like, bro, I've I right away was like, cool, I'll send you the money. What's your call sign? <laughs> that's crazy. And that's like me asking what your fucking yeah, <laughs> your your, your yeah. handle is on YouTube. Right. Like yeah, he not. went by that name what was his your, entire military. What was career. your nickname that yeah. everybody calls you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. So what'd he do? Well, I mean, he was able to it it took like four or five days for him to get back into his Facebook, yeah. but he was able to like reset everything and it, mm -hmm. and it got that. Cause that's what they did. They, yeah. they just ran a, a password thing until they got in his Facebook and they were just contacting everybody on the friends list with these. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they were all different stories too, like different weaves. They were trying yeah. everything and, mm -hmm. and that went on for a couple of days. So like shit, he had to have his wife like, Make a post like, "Hey, Gordon, isn't isn't yeah. is. <laughs> somebody? Uh, somebody tried to hack my phone to take my phone number to put it on their phone because I had you all. Do that? Yeah, you can get you. I don't know if I want. Anyways, I'm not <laughs> going to say how they did it, but they did it somehow. I'm not going to put that out on the internet, but they uh, basically were really close to convincing my cell phone provider to switching my phone number to their phone because they had prevents convinced the uh, cell phone provider that they were me. And uh, that's where all my 2FA is to log into all my social medias. So they would have been able to get into all mm -hmm. my all my stuff. Mm -hmm. So after that, I went and I have like a hardware keys. They look like little USB thumb drives. And the only way to log into all my stuff is to have that physical key. You have to plug that in and then you have to know some ridiculously long password. Wow. So it's impossible to log into without that physical wow. key now. Nice. All I mean, I got stuff. my Twitch stolen. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I mean, well... They just, it just, yeah, like, like they didn't get into it or change yeah. it into anything. It's just, I woke up one morning and had like 85 two factor texts of a Twitch code. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh God. And then I went to go log in and it was like, mm -hmm. no. My Netflix got hacked while I was in the gym here just like a week ago. I had to run upstairs. I was like, mm. I was like, I better, because it popped up that. And then both of those emails disappeared. Like they got deleted. I was like, oh shit. So they must have access to my email account as well. Uh, so I went up, called Netflix, and they were like, yep, we see that it was a password was changed and it was sent to all this stuff in Iowa and it was turned into Spanish and all this shit. So they like nuked that. We, I had to make a whole new email to attach it to it. And then I changed the password on my email and changed the password on everything else that I have. So I made them all different passwords. 
uh, I lost my Instagram for almost a month in like 2018, 19. From I'm, that I'm, shit. I'm in that it was, boat right now. It was now. my place. They, they got my PlayStation 4 account. Oh, God. And then somehow got my Instagram as well. So I lost every online thing that I had on PS4 at that time. Uh, so like access to all those games that I had bought and all that shit through that email gone and then my Instagram was gone for almost a month but yeah dude it's fucking ridiculous oh, fuck. I got my Netflix hacked I it took they, they basically they're like okay well here's a new Netflix account we just switched all your shit and I was like you're gonna know where, where I stopped watching yeah, all the videos they're yeah. like nah you're gonna have to restart I'm like fuck mm. Yes, yeah, seven years this of building is, that algorithm. This has for been me, an interesting gone. culture thing the last week and a half without Instagram because I, I like forget. I don't know what anybody's doing. Yeah, yeah. And then and then Corey tells me, oh, Range Day looked packed. I'm like, how do you know? She's like, duh. Mm-hmm. Like, Instagram. I'm watching oh, 700 yeah. stories of every mother. Right. I know that's yeah. there. Mm. Like, oh yeah, I forgot. Like <laughs> then like, oh, shit. like like you surprised that. Bam, it's sitting on the couch. Yeah, I had no idea. Like, what? Dude, no, dude, so I, I, walked, I walked in the backyard, and there was, like, one dude, I don't know his name. I'd never seen him before. He was, like, just kind of chilling on the side by the by the skate ramp. I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? Nice oh, that's to Lee. see you. Lee. Yeah. And then I walked in the backyard, and it's, bam, picking up acorns. I'm like, and how polite, hi. How polite uh, nice, is he? Nice to meet you. He's super cool. He's cool as shit. Yeah, He's like, hi, nice, nice to meet he? you. I'm Bam. I was like, I'm, I'm oh, aware. Oh, Thank really? you. I'm, I'm Nick. Okay. <laughs> like, I know who you are. <laughs> no, he's super cool. Yeah. So it's just so nice. I don't know. Caught me off guard. I'm having a hell of a day. Have a hell, well, hell of a hell of a trip. I, yeah. uh, I try not to get pictures with like a bunch of it. Like I'm new to the whole influencer thing. So like seeing like even you guys, like just I'm like, all right, I'm not going to fangirl. I'm not going to go up <laughs> asking people for pictures. It's going to be weird. Yeah. It's going to be fine. And then I turned around at range day and the fucking Undertaker was there. And I'm like, I'm getting a fucking picture with him. You have to. Like, bro. Hi, sir. I had your backpack in third grade and you were on my trapper all through middle school. It's really nice to meet you. (laughs) So. Yeah, he's cool, dude. I got to film some stuff with him yesterday. And uh, we did like a little face off before we shot like some guns together. But like, I'm just, my face is directly into his chest. So we did like a face off, and then I like look up at him, and then I like look at him, like oh no, and then and then it cuts to us. He's shooting like a full auto shotgun, and I got an MP40, and we're just like duh, 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 duh. so yeah, dude. He he was so cool. He was like just goofing around the whole time in the background. Like I've got a b- bunch of pictures in the background. He's just like bent down, like flipping us off. So, <laughs> <laughs> camera. So yeah, he he was really cool. Yeah, Probably. but you know both sides of this now. Yeah, I know. You've experienced most. Oh, of yeah. Are you are you offended with if someone sees you and wants to know? You're like, hey, yeah, of course I will. Like that's not, no, you're yeah, not so bothering like, me. What, no, like, like I I love taking pictures with everybody like when they want to, but like what like God, if you ever want a picture with me or you see me in the store, or whatever, just come get a picture. You're not bothering me. It's way worse when I get an email. It's like. I saw, I, I saw you in Target the other day, but and I, didn't I, did, I didn't want to. Yeah. I didn't yeah. want to be rude, but I was like, "Bro, you just come say hi. Yeah, I'm happy is, to give yeah. you a picture with anybody anytime." Mm-hmm. So, no, it's it's a lot of fun. There's yeah, a, yeah. Goldberg was awesome. Undertaker was awesome. Yeah, with, with Chuck Liddell's Tim, awesome. Yeah, Junior Dos Santos is awesome. Did you see? Uh, did you meet Jay Wolf? Out there, oh, the, yeah, giant. younger kid, yeah, the giant, bro, yeah. Like I'm, we're talking Undertaker, and this dude dwarfed everybody at this he, event. I think he's taller than Undertaker. He's, dude. he's, wow. se- he's no, he mad. he's seven one. His yeah. name is Jay Wolf. His, well, that's that's like his uh, his, yeah. his like Twitch name or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he's seven one. He does, 435 he does giant pounds. Twitches. Like where he's just yeah. a giant. And like, no, he's, he's like, he's like, we're, he's like, I just play video games and stuff. I'm like, bro, like we start a YouTube channel. Like just call it like. You know, size matters or something, yeah, like, and that should yeah. be do you like just show people what it's like living life as a giant. He's like, actually, there's a bunch of roller coasters in Idaho <laughs> that have height limitations now because they almost took my head off at the picture <laughs> ramp. I'm like, oh shit! Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, good yeah. thing. Like he, he, they're like, yeah, if you didn't duck, you would have died. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. that's good. Wow. Yeah, he's extremely <laughs> nice too. He's a he's a pleasant dude. Yeah, it's a Jay good time. Wolf. Yeah. Uh, Jesse James was there. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't even. He was. He like when I got there, I saw his back, and they're like, "Yeah, Jesse James is over there with a bunch of his guns he made, all the Damascus stuff." I was like, "What?" And we started talking to somebody else. And when I turned, I was like, "Oh, I need to go see him." He was gone. He had loved. He was in like a Hummer or something that was like lifted. And when I turned to like go see him, that was gone. And he was gone. I was like, "Him and Undertaker live right by each other." Yeah. Yeah. They were. He was there with his like whole group and all his guns. So I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, "I missed him." 
And then uh, Junior DeSantos was there too. Yeah. Uh, I was like, oh, oh yeah. shit. Like I was, I was staring at him while I was like shooting a gun for a minute. And I was like, I was like, ah. Uh, I was like, I know this guy, and I like looked him up. These flies are yeah. infuriating. Oh yeah, it that's that's it's, one thing. Tis the season that huh? makes me uncomfortably furious. Is a fly in my face? Like I can <laughs> I can feel it in my body. Like I want to I want to kill. It you got a, you got twenty four hours to yeah. live, and you're gonna spend it fucking with yeah, me. <laughs> I'm trying to drink from my fucking eyes. Drink something else. There's plenty of other places you can go get a drink, but a fly's like no. Nah, I, I want, want, I want to fuck with you. I I'd, want some spit and I want eye juice. I'd feel better about it if every time they landed, they weren't rubbing their fucking yeah, hands together like they're plotting. Shit, man. They're just like, you're fucking up to something. Yeah. Dick. Yeah, I fucking hate them. <laughs> little four-day yeah. lives. Yeah. And they just spend it fucking ruining everyone else's. <laughs> we were talking about that earlier. You're, you're alive for four days and that's all you do. Yeah, they it. just fuck with people. When we were in the gym, there was so many today and I was like smashing them with that... Uh, <laughs> with one of the barbells, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, the, the fuck happened to these walls? <laughs> oh, I was going after the flies. There were flies. What? <laughs> but yeah, it was that mat. You like do yoga and shit on. I rolled it up and was just bashing a bunch of them. But dude, yeah, every time I would go to sit down, like one would land on me, and I'd be just like, oh my god, I hate it. Ready? Yeah. It was a good range. It was a good range. A huge turnout. Yeah. It, it, was, was, it, was, it was a lot of very fun. Very nicely ran. I, so, like, we they did it last year, and there was, like, it was a good turnout. There was, like, you know, like, 50 people there. I pulled up this time. I was like, holy shit, it looked like a convention. Dude, it was, like, 300 plus. That's probably going to be better than yeah. Chacho. Yeah, I mean, probably. And, like, to your credit, like, not that last time wasn't safe, but, like, this time was, like, super safe with all the yeah. dudes you brought out. Yeah. Like, there was zero, zero problems happening that entire time. We talking about that months ago yeah. of just, like, hey, like, like, how are we, how can we make this just better, you mm -hmm. know, in the aspect of you, you're bringing a lot of people that have never been around these things before. So, you know, the last yeah. thing we want, I mean, that's, that's what the other side would love. Nothing more mm -hmm. than some goofy shit right. to go down at exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. And it would be in international headlines. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and then also too, you know, it's Matt's property. You yeah. Respect it's on someone else's. Yeah. You know, it's his, he's taken the, the risk. Right. So. But it, it, all, it nice. all worked out good. Yeah, everything was great. I still I still can't believe what we did to that Hummer at the end of that. Dude, that was wild. No, I'm I mean, not going to lie. That, yeah, was I mean, like, that was a little bit of a spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was like. Oh, you guys just all melted down the Hummer? I left. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Just like, because I had been standing since yeah, nine. Yeah. yeah. They backed the range up like 50 yards and everybody just lined up and unloaded on that. Like brand new, decked out, nothing wrong with I know. it. Hummer with like roll cages. I heard that somebody, yeah. Beautiful shit, lights everywhere, crazy rims and tires, just like ultimate package Hummer, Humvee, like, and yeah. just fucking well, obliterated it. it. I, I heard that like there somebody had donated a Hummer we were going to shoot, and I yeah. thought it was going to be like some fucking piece of shit. Yeah, somebody Army, paid five yeah. grand for at a surplus, yeah. and it was uh, whatever. No, it was wrapped. No, this, this was. rims. This was wrapped. It had rims, new tires, a roof rack. Yeah, the inside Every, was nice. I was like, like bro. I was like, oh, can we and keep it? Yeah. Like, yeah. Just like shoot something else. Now what do they do with it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if it just stays there and they just continue to shoot it more and it's just there, you know, in the background for like content Forever or whatever. Or if that. they take it yeah. off and some, I bet you somebody else probably going to be like, yeah, I'll buy it. I'll fucking fix that shit. So uh, bro, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of holes in that yeah, motherfucker yeah, now. Yeah, a yeah. lot of holes. Yeah. Um, were they shooting the fifties at it? That was one. Yes. Okay. They yeah, were they shot okay. the, like one, the, the one, something that was, on the ground next to me to my right and the other 50 that was to the left. I don't know. The other thing was probably some other type of 50. I, I can't tell. It just looked older because uh, it, it set angled up and then he would like lift it up and it was like that. The other one was like Was it the down. American flag one? Yeah, I think so. That was uh, uh, Browning 1919s. So okay, was 30 okay. cal. Okay. Yeah. The, no, there was another. I know what one you're talking about now. Uh, there was another one. It, when, he, when he was done, it set looking straight up and then he like cocked it down and oh, it was fucking loud as hell too. That's that one. But... Yeah, it was nuts, dude. You guys have a shooting day. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of cool guns for sure. Hey, yeah. uh, when you when you drove over here, how did you find the turn? What do you mean? <laughs> how did you know that you were approaching your destination? That is. This oh, you mean the studio. fucking big ass fucking <laughs> billboard that like? I, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't pay attention when I drive. Like, yeah. I'm looking at the road, and that's fucking it. Yeah. Like, I've obliterated many deer that have just wandered into my lane. Yeah. Um, 
I don't pay attention to shit other than the road. My wife is like, oh my God, slow down the billboard. That's Caleb and JT. <laughs> so I had to slow down so she could snap a picture real quick. But yeah, no, the billboard looks fantastic. It's really good. It's, I'm kind of jealous. Look, I was trying to get you guys to get the other side. We because it would have been awesome to have all your yeah. faces Unsub on the reverse side. Would have been great. That would have been and, it, and, oh, it's, and, and it, we would have said Fair Oaks is number one radio <laughs> show. Man, we filmed we filmed a hell of a we filmed like a three hour podcast the other night. I got hammered. It was pretty. Oh, it's it's going to be a good one. But we were talking about you guys when this when's the uh, the time for come collab. Oh, gonna collab. That would be <laughs> time for unsub. <laughs> we should just do like a giant collab. Uh, and just do like maybe we just do two separate podcasts and then we each upload one of them. Well, well yeah, we've also yeah. talked about just switching sets and switching loads. Yeah. So like, so <laughs> let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> when so, you say switching loads, well, well, meaning so we you guys are together gonna, and we, we, no, we no, 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 uploads, okay. switching okay. uploads. All right, sure. So you guys podcast. just yeah. appear on this set and this and whatever you say, that episode goes up on our channel <laughs> and we're just on the unsub yeah. set. <laughs> yeah, that could be funny, but yeah, yeah, I think a cool one of us all together, and then we that's just a, like that's a big yeah, one. we could just talk for like two hours, and it's like you got to watch part of it here, and you watch the other part here. <laughs> it's it would it would be fun to actually do like some B roll footage yeah. of like just us all going to brunch together to begin with or six and flags yeah to show yeah. us drinking from the beginning of the day and then we go do one we of our podcasts and yeah. then it's us going to the next podcast yeah. even more drunk we have to wear suits at six flags how, it's how, called business trip how, where's the nearest six flags san antonio, san antonio. it's at the rim yeah, it's like oh no shit yeah. yeah oh god yeah. it's close yeah it's closer than the airport yeah we could be there so so time. yeah if we all dress in in suits like businessmen and it's and it's work day. <laughs> we do that in between podcasts. We just go get the roller coaster <laughs> picture. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, it's all of us on a fallen roller, roller coaster. Roller coaster business suits yeah. and ties. <laughs> we got kicked out of Six Flags. We were just filming an epic hoist commercial for you where we were sliding the car into Caleb while Brent was throwing him a new black cherry hoist, but then Which is delicious, by the way. But you. We broke the car. Yeah. <laughs> we broke the car. He was too dehydrated to be driving properly. <laughs> it's a hot day. Uh, so that goes to show you what happens if you don't hydrate properly. No, well, we're going to fix the car and then we're going to come back and we're going to do that, that clip where we slide at 100 miles an hour into you and deliver you a delicious hoist. Yeah. And in the middle of that slide, he's tossing it out the window. So what, 200 mile an hour coming straight at me? 230 miles an hour, yeah. straight at you, hoist. It's a hoist delivery vehicle, the HDV. Mm -hmm. Like this is gonna be exactly how everyone needs to drink hoist, but you're holding a new flavor. Uh, which is absolutely amazing. If you've had black cherry, anything, it's always good, but this is as good as it gets. I have been fighting not to drink this the entire time we've been filming this. Uh, and now I'm really dehydrated. Well, you know, it's all about drinking hoist. And you know if you used mm -hmm. not Squish 20. <laughs> you can use Squish 20. You can use Squish you 20. Want. <laughs> Which you you're not supposed to call hoist Squish, but not. Squish 20 will save you some money. It might save you some money. Drinkhoist.com. Are you guys ready for some hot sauce that has some flavor? Well, try Florida Man's Lunacy, the roasted garlic kind. This thing will bring spice and great flavor to just about anything you put it on. But I don't recommend putting it where the sun don't shine. And it comes in two distinct flavors, roasted garlic and pineapple. You mean three distinct flavors. Don't forget blueberry hot sauce for that sweet and spicy. So head on over to floridamanslunacy.com. Get yourself a one pack, maybe a two pack, or even a three pack. That's floridamanslunacy.com for hot sauce that tastes great. Mm. Yeah, that would be fun. Why? We stole a flag. There are five flags now. Yeah, there's five <laughs> flags now. We burn it. Yeah. What? The mascot yeah. is dead. Hmm. What is Holy the Six shit. Flags mascot? Well, it was <laughs> mm. a giant fox. <laughs> what? Was it doesn't even make sense. We had uh, we had some dude on there. I don't know if you met him. His name was Tyler. He's at Range Day, but uh. I want to know if you knew that this existed because you I did. Tyler, Tyler Gray. Tyler, Tyler Gray. Gray. Yeah. Okay. Yes. He was telling stories and he's like talking about some grenade that, you know, whatever. And then he drank a little bit more and told more later. Um, you ever heard of a thermal Barrett grenade? Oh yeah. God, I did not know that was a thing. What? That's fucking terrifying. What is this? A thermal Barrett grenade. 
you know what a thermobaric like bomb is? Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, no, they, they made that in grenade form and okay. it's terrifying. Okay. It's white phosphorus. Wow. Yeah. It that's burns cool. hot. I thought you said thermal barrack. No, you no, 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 no. No, thermal barrack is the air fuel grenades that collapse buildings. Yeah. It's a vacuum bomb. Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, what that is. It's yeah, like yeah. a double blast. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And they made it in grenade form. He's like, yeah, here's what they look like. He showed me a picture. Dude, it looked like a fucking two liter of Mountain Dew. He's you like, yeah. Just to toss that he's, thing? Yeah. He's like, you throw it into a room and you fucking run. He's, he's like, it'll collapse a building in on itself. I'm like, Jesus Christ. He, and then I was like, I started Googling it later that night because I'd never heard of it, which is yeah. weird for me. And it's it's fucking classified as an anti-structure grenade. <laughs> but fuck it, I'm going to kill the house with you in it. And that's your problem. Get rid of all of this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we. Yeah, I mean, that's a good idea. If there's just a house full of bad guys, you're like, you know what? They're not going to get the drop. Yeah, but imagine, there. imagine you're the like, you're the, the 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 poor son of a bitch armed guard that was just on shift that night. That this thing comes flying towards you, and you're like, oh, what's, what's that? Go, go, go. Zoom, bro. Because, because yeah. that probably doesn't feel good. Yeah. It looks it's like not a two house that's going to kill you. That's like the angry cricket of the bomb world, bro. Yeah. Except it's huge. I'm not. I kidding. bet this, it bends you in half. This yeah, it's it your just shatters you. Yeah. Like you yeah. get sucked into like yeah. the size of this shell, <laughs> and then it throws you out the size of tub three times you. It just does you out like as goo. Yeah, you it's just, just slop. And then the house collapses. Yeah, slop. Yeah. yeah, I'm sitting there drunk trying to understand the chemistry behind thermal barrier grenades uh, after that yeah. podcast. Yeah, what do you think wild. it would look like if somebody like? Skydived into a like horizontal chain link fence. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> how how far would they make it through? These are the questions. Uh, oh, I think they'd go straight through. Really? You don't think they would? Like no parachute? No, no they'd parachute. Go straight through? Like into you, you know the chain link fence is is pulled taut, and it's like thirty feet in the air. And they just hit. I, I think you're going to get like four inches of penetration into them, and then it's going to collapse the chain link in. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think you're going to. Do I don't you go, think you're going do to you switch go sharper to wire. Then. Do you go? Well, if you smaller, went sharper wire, it would work. Smaller yeah. gauge. Yeah. Then it would work like, probably. Like remember, uh, like a piano wire net. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you did that, they're gone. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It, and it's it's octagonal. It's like chicken wire. For sure. Ooh. No, that's exactly what would happen. Or like remember. Uh, wasn't that Silent... No, not Silent Hill. It was uh, Resident Evil. The first Resident Evil movie where it had the lasers that, that like, turned oh, into yeah, a yeah, grid yeah. Yep. and, and just went Came through. at you, yeah. Now that's got to not be fun. I, I've, been, well, I've been reading up on the lasers Do you think samurais cut lately. people in half? Yes. They did? Sure, absolutely. You know how they grade a samurai sword? Uh, so like when, like no shit when you're talking about samurai swords uh, they refer to it as a X amount of pig blade so like you have a three pig blade and it's like three pig blade is a sword that will cut, cut through, through three. three pigs stacked on top of each other in one swipe and that's how you grade a samurai sword is how many fucking pigs it'll cut through in and one swipe once, that's pretty cool they're fucking dope so okay. yes to answer your question 100% yes okay second question yeah like I bet you in human history that somebody that was unarmed or just wearing regular clothes pissed off a samurai and got cut. Oh, for sure. I mean, what? But like yeah. getting cut in half, like it's going to take it a, a, a minute. Well, yeah. You know? They say that um, the sam like most of the samurais, there's a lot of like crusader kind of shit that uh, most of them sucked. Like they would just like rape and murder people like all the time. Like they were not like great. Vikings. Yeah, yeah. Like they were not great dudes. It was feudal. Like yeah. it was basically like yeah. uh, uh, like knights, uh, like knights that were like loyal to kings because they paid them or gave them yeah, land. Yeah. It was the same thing with samurai and shoguns. Yeah, yeah. That's where that's, that's where jujitsu came from. Yeah. So like I'm, a, I'm a Brazilian jujitsu coach. So like samurai were they're basically mercenaries essentially. You know, up up armored mercenary mm -hmm. badasses working for shoguns. So, like, there was kind of this degree of professionalism amongst, amongst them because it's like, you know, I'm not fighting you because I'm defending my home. I'm not fighting you because I'm defending, you know, like, my whatever. I'm fighting mm -hmm. you because my, my fucking boss and your boss are having an issue and yeah. we're going to have battle. And uh, every day, they'd have war during the day. And at the end of the night, they would leave their weapons behind and go to, well, they wouldn't leave them behind, but they would come down dressed in just the robes and they'd have their swords with them because they always carry their swords, but they would come meet in the middle of the battleground and have dinner every night. 
<clears throat> and if you drew your sword at dinner at the end of the night, like everybody's killing you. Mm -hmm. Like that's not allowed, yeah. period. So it, what it, what happened was if you had a disagreement while you're having dinner at the end of the day with somebody, you, you would wrestle <clears throat> to figure out who was right. Well, then it turned into, well, I'm gonna fucking wrestle this dude, but if I can fucking break his arm tonight, which is allowed, tomorrow I'm gonna find him on the battlefield with a broken <laughs> arm and he's not gonna be able to defend himself and then I'm gonna cut his fucking head off. So that's where like arm bars and knee bars and submission holds came from is samurais the night before battle at dinner trying to fuck each other up yeah. wait, so they can wait, murder each wait. other the next day. But then what does Brazil have to do with this? Uh, so jiu-jitsu- what's going on in Japan. Yeah, no, so uh, no, it's all, so it's like a running joke in the jiu-jitsu community that the Gracie family like just stole jiu-jitsu and ran away with it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so jiu-jitsu was all from Japan and it came over um, through- drinking. I don't remember the exact name. It came over. Helio Gracie's older brother, uh, Carlos Gracie, learned jujitsu, traditional Japanese jujitsu, because you can learn Japanese jujitsu, you can learn Brazilian jujitsu, and then now there's a new guy trying to come up with American jujitsu, Keenan Cornelius. Anyways, long story. Why do um, we need American jujitsu? Uh, do we need I mean, another jujitsu? Yes. You, you think yes. we do? Absolutely. American jujitsu is going to be awesome. Ameriju? Yeah, American who hit you. No, yeah. mm -mm. no. We can't, can't call it that. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> no, yeah, we can't. Dave, Dave, cut that. Cut that. <laughs> so yeah, but Helio Gracie learned traditional Japanese jiu-jitsu, but he was a really small guy. So he ended up like adapting it to make it so uh, he could win being a smaller dude and basically made it better, I guess. It made it more efficient so that a smaller person could take out a bigger person regardless of strength. And that's where Brazilian jiu-jitsu came from. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Stuff. And how long has it been around? So it's fairly new. Brazilian jiu-jitsu is like like new, new, yeah. So, I mean, Helio's only, he passed away not that long ago. This is like a couple generations of people. Yeah. Like less like than 100, 100 years. years yeah. yeah, so I mean, uh, Gracie's is why MMA exists. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that. But yeah. yeah. I mean, their whole yeah. family had their had their martial art came up to America. They're yeah. like, welcome to the fucking Thunderdome. Us versus karate versus whatever the fuck Boxers else you got. Your karate yeah. is lame. Uh, so, yeah, has anybody kinda... ever won in karate? Karate? Yeah. Uh, like MMA? Yeah. Uh, Leona Machida. Yeah. He's he, a karate uh, he, guy? Yeah, he was, well, he's a, he's like a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt too, but he wow. was not like- Whoa, 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 whoa. No, well, no, you but like- just throw in the black belt it was, with Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It was jiu not his primary weapon. Like that dude was knocking people the fuck out with like OG- Karate yeah, moves, kicks, yeah. no, not like front snap kicks, like yeah. like shit that people have never seen in MMA. And he was going in there and doing these kick, like crescent kicks and front snap kicks that people thought weren't real and weren't going to be yeah. effective. And he was yeah. fucking starching people. <laughs> he's the he's the closest dude. Uh, sorry, he's probably the closest dude, like the first go around with John Jones. He did the best, and then he got caught in a guillotine. But like, he was doing the best against John Jones. Machida, yeah, Leona Machida's. So he's like gangster. a real world ninja. Oh, dude! Like, remember the old yeah. like the UFC countdown videos? His countdown bit video back in the day when he was doing shit. He's like in Brazil, like meditating under waterfalls with waterfalls hitting his back and he's like in a canoe and he's like canoeing through this river in Brazil and he like reaches the oar out and a fucking monkey jumps on it and gets in the canoe with them and I was like oh fuck this guy's winning uh, like, this, is, actual, knows this is the dude. main character Waterfall, of the story <laughs> monkey yeah. whisper this yeah. dude knows how to fight That's yeah like that dude was crazy fighter backstory yeah. guy yeah, he's like, yeah legit that's cool. This is interesting. Yeah. I didn't know this what, much. What other questions? Well, I mean, <laughs> who do you think is the closest to the most real life ninja? The closest? Is, to yeah, the what's ninjutsu? Real life. Ninjutsu is real. And it's ninja. It's ninjin, right? Huh? Ninjin? No, it's hmm? called ninjutsu. Yeah, but that's yeah. what it, that's what like a ninja is, right? No, they're Japanese. What? Mm hmm? What are you saying over there? Ninjas. Ninjutsu like is Indian like the style of a, of a ninja. Okay. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. That's their fighting style. Yes. So they do like front flips and shit. Uh, so like, this is going to be bad. I don't know if I want to put this on. My interpretation <laughs> of history, which is this is nowhere near my area of expertise, but my understanding of ninjas is that because samurai were like the wealthy shogun knight warrior people, um, Ninjas were like the 
lower uh, lower economic people, and they mm -hmm. were basically adapted their fighting style to take out samurais. Yeah, to be sneaky. Yeah, like they were designed to kill samurai. So like they had like eggs that they would fucking poke a hole in and strain the egg out and they'd fill it full of ground up glass and sand and shit. Yeah. And they'd fucking like, and throw fucking pocket sand into the samurai's eyes. Well, they were fighting dirty. Yeah, yeah. they were oh, they were yeah. basically like assassins trying to take out the samurai, but the samurai had this big advantage Who with the armor and the better that? equipment and everything. Was it Shredder? <laughs> I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> so it was Dr. Shredder. Exactly. Him. Yeah. It was Dave Shredder, 1975. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. And there was Ninja Turtles. It was yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, if you were, you're scared of the thermobaric bomb. Do you know what the yeah. CBU 97 is? CBU 97. Uh, no, tell me more. The SFW, the sensor fused weapon. Tell me. So the CBU 97 is a cluster, cluster okay. bomb. And it breaks open. Yeah, and it has sub munitions come out that have parachutes on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. You don't believe me? No, I know. I believe you. Trust me. <laughs> and, and you look up into the sky and you see hundreds of these parachuting cylinders that are, you know, probably about this big. And as they get to about a hundred feet off the ground, they open up, and these heat-seeking <clears throat> discs fire into heat sources <laughs> all at <Yeah>. once. <laughs> America. I'm going to be honest, I'm still it's more- It's called the weapon of seven miracles. Okay. I'm going to be honest, I'm still more scared of thermal barracks. Yeah. What a <laughs> terrifying- uh, That's in space right now. Is it called like the hand of God or- Oh, rods from God? Yeah. That's a technically a myth. We it's don't know that for sure. Still really tungsten, cool. That. Tungsten yeah. steel tungsten, rods. Tungsten 30 foot long power telephone poles. poles. Yeah. Yeah. Power that poles just made of tungsten. Launch yeah. How did we launch Earth? tungsten poles into space? Space, though. Well, that's why people think it's not real. Is yeah. it's, it's not cost effective. Yeah. No, I don't, to think get that. I, don't think, I don't think it's real yeah, either, personally, but it's a there. good like, concept. Like, Demo Matt has, like, a cube of tungsten that is maybe a little bit smaller than this shell, and it is difficult to pick up. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe how they, are you doing maybe a Maybe they telephone? found that in space. Maybe they harnessed it in space. Well, I mean, kind of, hear me out. The entire concept behind it is kind of silly because, but it's like, cool. the whole concept is like this could be equivalent to a nuclear explosion. And guess what? It's not a war crime yet yeah. because nobody's no ever done it because it's never a war crime yeah. the first time. Yeah, yeah. So therefore, we've done. And it's like apparently I mean, the first yeah, two nukes weren't I guess. war crimes either. Yeah, I know. It's never a war crime the first time. Oh, didn't what? know that was an option yet. Oh, we didn't know. We didn't know how bad it well, was going to be. We didn't know it'd be that crazy. I mean, they kind of know, yeah. but whatever. <laughs> It's uh, kind of but it's kind of funny how well of a relationship we have with J the Japanese. Yeah. Oh, bro, like, it's wild. They're, no, they're, it's, really it's wild. like they're not they're mad at like, us. All right, well. I mean, to be fair, we have the same thing with the Germans now. Yeah. You know what I mean? We have just as good of a relationship. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but look, I'm just this. Like, I mean, we fucking, nuked Japan twice. I so I like I have multiple <laughs> friends that like grew up in Japan. They're from Japan. I always make a point of asking. They're like, I don't know, in our in our you know, their education system. They're like, we're kind of taught that, you know, you told us like 30 fucking times you were going to do it and then you did it. And well, we you know, started we, it. They kind of blamed uh, the emperor and their government at the time for that. Oh, uh, well. Yeah. So I mean, like our government suck. And they well, I mean, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> well, but cool. also, like, I recently watched Weimheiner. Is that that movie? Window meter. Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Yeah. Weinheimer. Yeah. <laughs> Weinheimer. What? <laughs> so my friend's got a Weimar Reiner. A Wappenheimer. Window meter. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy got that Wappenheimer. That's weeping, weeping woomer. Okay. <laughs> I watched that movie. Did you watch that movie? No. no. You haven't? I can't do it. Why? I fucking hate history movies. They piss me off. Yeah, but this one I think was good. Oh, God, I don't know. I thought I had high hopes for Napoleon. Worst movie I've seen in my life. Oh, I come on. It. I haven't seen it yet. Dude, Me and terrible. Caleb, we're going to do a beanbag day. It's like, yeah. it's like every fucking director's. Like, I'm more concerned about my artistic expression. Yeah, the story. Just tell the fucking story, I'm, I, dude. Yeah. yeah it's like, I, I read the Wikipedia page, and this is my artistic expression of it. Like, no, sh fucking read more than that, I and then just tell what happened. Midway Fuck. was great. Midway was Midway fantastic. Was it yeah. is one of my favorite I've heard, movies I've heard ever. Other yeah. people be like, Midway sucked. I'm like, how did that no, suck? No, Midway was, was fucking fantastic. I, I gained respect for a Jonas brother. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Bro, even if you knew, like, if you knew about history with, like, they did it so well, like, the, the crazy dude that does all the cryptography walking around his office in a robe and like, that's well documented. Yeah. Homeboy is like an E7 walking around his office with the naval fucking band because he figured out that, um, because people that are musicians recognize like symphonies and pick up shit from understanding how music works, yeah. that they'd be good at decrypting shit. And he started using the naval band to figure out how to crack the code to decrypt Japan's naval what messages. The, what was that code called? The Omega code or? The Enigma, but that was Enigma. German. I don't remember what the Japanese oh, okay. was called. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know what? It was the Wyman Hire code? Yeah. <laughs> the, you ninja, know what, the ninja code? You know what America did ninja? instead of an Enigma code? What? So the Enigma code was like this mechanical device that you'd like enter the data in. You had to have a machine. It would like spit out the right. Yeah, you had had the Enigma machine. You want to know what America did? We're like, fuck it. We're going to get Native Americans to do it for us. Wind talkers. Yeah. yeah, Wind talkers, talkers. specifically uh, Navajo Navajo code talkers. If you're in Germany, how the the fuck are you going to find a Navajo Indian that speaks Navajo? Well, the other thing is... uh, the Navajo in, in particular is very hard. It's completely separate than any other language ever. Yeah. And it's not written. It's only spoken. So there's not even an opportunity or a possibility that you could have, right. like, had somebody yeah. write it down and you can teach it to yourself via a book. It's not possible because it's not a written Nicholas language. Nicholas Cage was involved in that program. Yeah, the wind. Yeah. Uh, what's that movie called? Wind Talkers. Wind yeah. Talkers. yeah, we watched that yeah. in school. Yeah. It's super good. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And they were like, they had different, like, so the Navajo, there's the Navajo language and then the Navajo code talkers had their own code on top of it for, because there's no word in Navajo for a fucking tank, right? Like, that's not a thing. So they were calling tanks like like iron turtles uh, and shit. Iron turtles and different shit like that. It's really cool. Well, like, like, like here's, here's a funny thing like that we did that cost, you know, Russia a lot of money. You know, they, they knew that we were, we were leading on developing laser-guided munitions and ground-based laser systems. And that's how we were going to use precision, precision bombs. You know, the age of, of using snake eyes, high drag, low drag, Mark 82s, 83s, 84s, you know, these bombs that just dive in and hope, yeah. you hope you hit it. It's kind of yeah. accurate. It flies a little straight. Now we've got a guidance kit on it using laser energy. So when Russia developed their new tank, the tank had a, had a receiver in it that if it felt itself getting lazed, the turret auto spins and fires around at the source of the laser. You know? Yeah. This is, Makes this sense. Is, that's crazy technology. Yeah. It sounds dangerous, right? Yeah. Sounds how are we how are we gonna combat this? You know, how are we gonna camouflage our laser when we're lasing the tank to put a uh, no, we just created what what's called a shift call. So we lays on the ground next to the tank until the pilot knows where the bomb is in flight and he says, okay, shift. And you put it onto the tank the last like five seconds. Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing funnier than billion dollar fucking technology getting duped, getting duped by duped fucking by dumb that. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking so, oh yeah? Watch this, I got an idea. Hand, hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> That's why the Russians are like, fuck the Americans, man. They, they don't Bro. even know what they're doing. <laughs> what said, America fucking with Russia is an epic saga. It's my favorite thing in American history. Like, mm-hmm. Bro, oh, Russia put up a new spy satellite. What's America going to do about it? Put up 50. America mm-hmm. just, no, America like fucking strapped an anti-satellite missile to an F-15 <laughs> and yeeted it into the fucking outer space <laughs> and blew up one of our own satellites just to let them know, by the way, we the only reason you have a spy satellite is because we let you. Uh-huh. Fuck off. <laughs> like 100%. It's fantastic. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Bro, the fucking, I did, my new video, it's not out yet. It comes out Sunday. The Berlin airlift in World War II. Mm-hmm. Oh God, it's the funniest shit on the planet. Um, do you guys know much about like after uh, Germany, after World War II? Basically it was split up into all the allied forces. Each got a chunk of it. So like America, Britain, France, all got a chunk and the USSR got a chunk. We were going to turn it into a state similar to Louisiana and then yeah. they said no. 100%. <laughs> we called it the West Germany Purchase. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, so no, they split it in half and like all the Western people, like our strategy was like, oh, we're going to 
boost their economy up and give them aid and then, you know, let them get on their feet and then we're going to fuck off and you guys can do your own shit, whatever. And the USSR was like, nah, we're communist. You need to rely on us. So they took a bunch of East Germany shit well, and like reappropriated wall, right? it. Berlin wall. So that comes like 40 years later. Uh, but Berlin was a hundred miles into Soviet territory, but Berlin was also cut into quadrants like that. Yeah. So like you had this little speck of capitalism in the, in the Eastern Bloc and um, capitalism was outperforming, obviously, because communism sucks ass. Yeah. So they were like, they're, we're going to blockade off West Berlin. We're going to cut off all the roads, all the rivers, all the train tracks, everything. We're not going to let any food or supplies into West Berlin. And eventually we're going to starve them out until they agree to join communism. And then it's all just going to be USSR. And the only way that the Western powers, they, they went into Truman's office, the same dude that dropped nuclear bombs, yeah. just so we're on the same page. And they're like, here's the options. We can roll in tanks, kick off World War III right now. We can let West Berlin starve. We can try to fly food in, but we have no idea what that's going to take. We think it's impossible. And like most gangster presidential quote ever, he's like, quote, we stay in Berlin, period. So they're like, okay, well, we're going to try to fly in supplies. And it was... They go to Brit, uh, Britain, who'd just been rationing for 10 years, and it was going to be like 4,500 tons of food and fuel every day. It's millions of pounds every day. And it was like 1,300 C-74s, because they could only th carry three tons at a time. Yeah. It'd be 1,300 planes in every day. There's only 1,440 minutes in a day. Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. They fucking figure it out, and fucking they end up flying in... Over the course of 15 months, it's called the Berlin Airlift, they flew in like 4.6 billion pounds of food and fuel and it like literally outlasted the USSR because we put an embargo on them that was yeah. financially punishing them. <laughs> flew in 4.6 billion pounds. They were flying in 1,300 planes a day. Every three minutes, they were flying them in from three locations all day, every day for 15 fucking months just to shit on communism. Wow. It's incredible. Yeah. Man, that's a flex. Yeah. That's a big shit. Yeah. Dude, so much. Yeah. So much shit. The East Germans could unload three tons off a plane in seven minutes and turn it around and send it back. <laughs> they, were, they, they were launching planes from two locations in West Germany. Every three minutes, another plane took off and they had them flying at five different altitudes. So they were just staggered going there all day, yeah, yeah. every fucking day. And the communists were sending up fighters and they were like buzzing the planes, trying to get them to fuck up, cause a wreck, anything they could do, but they wouldn't touch them because America's the only one with nukes at the time. So mm -hmm. it was the biggest game of fuck around and find out ever. So I like, mean, yeah. That, that would have been a, a quick sequel to World War II though. If, it, if you think about it, it's like, yeah. oh, you were in production while two just came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we would be working on four now. Yeah. Let's, yeah, that's true. It's okay. We got time. There'll be more world wars. We'll see what happens. It'll be a good time. <laughs> yeah, I want to look into this. You know, I want to look into this missile that went after a satellite. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that's cool. F yeah, F fifteen. F fifteen's got a hundred and four real world air to air kills. It's undefeated. Yeah. Uh, what else? It's done. Uh, shot down a satellite. It's the only plane to completely lose an entire fucking wing and fly back to base and land. Cut clean off. Israelis, yeah, sheared it all the way. And everybody's like, oh, the A-10 can, no. The A-10 has a designated breakaway point where like a third of the wing is left and it can limp home. The, the F-15 pilot got the entire wing sheared right off the I fuselage. The throttle, baby. Didn't even know it and flew back. And it's because the F-15 has so much fucking thrust that it could theoretically fly without wings. Yeah. Because like, it, it, like it, fucking rocket, it's a basically. rocket. It's yeah. literally, it could fly yeah. like a rocket once yeah. it gets off the ground. Yeah. You could set an F-15 vertical and it could just go straight up. Oh, no. That's why we should put two of those motors in like a Honda Civic. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. A hundred percent. At least an Accord, something a little more. No, that bigger. happened. Like this is, this, you might know about this. I do know about Years this. Ago, yes. <laughs> I put, so they're, they have these booster motors for C-130s and C-17s to take off on short landings yeah. that are just rocket motors. And one of the crew chiefs, like back in the 90s, welded one of these to his truck and went out into the Nevada desert and fired it off and like drove himself into a mountain like deep. And died. Oh, God. A hundred percent. disappeared. <coughs> like, you're talking like atoms. Why did he do this? Well, if he was successful, imagine how cool he would be right now. Right. Yeah, he put yeah. a rocket on his truck. 
How okay? About how fast was he going? Do yes. You think? Yes. <laughs> do, yes. Do you know about this? As do you know fast. the details? Oh, I've heard. The, I don't yeah. know the details. I've heard this story. I don't. I've never looked into it very deep, though. I mean, easily three hundred miles. Ago. Yeah. No oh, fucking in, in yeah. seconds. Like yeah. he, he. I mean, he probably, probably, ex- he probably passed out. Probably six hundred. He probably yeah. accelerated so fast that he either passed out and or died, died just from just the acceleration yeah. before he hit the mountain. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Guy sat in Cody's. Tesla plaid, and oh, that was alarming. Uh-huh. I've never been accelerated that fast in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I went on that jet ride, that was a, you a few times ride. that I about went to sleep. Yeah, that was. Did they try to put you to sleep? He no, did. they tried. He did. Oh, he did put he you did. to sleep. He, okay, he, good. He put uh, you in G lock. He said we hit six and a half uh, on one. He's like, hey man. He's like, that's good. He's like, most people would have fell out, and I, like I literally <laughs> was so sweaty. I was like, oh, and for the rest of the ride home, I was just like in a daze. Because he did like two loops, yeah, and uh, yeah, I was about out after that second one. If we would have done one more, I would have went out. I that put myself, wild. I put myself yeah. out twice. Yeah, yeah. Well, you were in charge of the aircraft. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. While I was flying, <laughs> I was just trying to have fun. Where were you flying? The same jet he was in. Yeah, you can't. What was his start jet? that story? Was, and then just not L thirty nine albatross. Oh, you have an albatross? Yeah. I did. That's fucking cool. Yeah. yeah, I used to. Damn. You know. Yeah, it was nuts. I barely like fit in the seat, but. It was pretty wild. Shit. And it was it was a nice breeze in there too, but my oh, yeah, I had sandals nice. on because I was at the gym and he just goes, hey, he's Christ. like, You wanna go up in a jet? And I was like, hey. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, Yeah. And he's like, All right, come on over. So I went there and I'm just in gym clothes, sandals, no socks or anything. <laughs> and I get in the jet, helmet and the pit viper. And I don't I didn't just I had the headset on and pit yeah. vipers. Dude. Because my like I guess adrenaline got so high up after doing the spins. I was sweating so much that my sandals were like just soaked. Like it was pouring, like my feet were <laughs> wet. The, the, when, I went to get, yeah, when I went to get out of the jet and it was like all awkward, like my feet were sliding everywhere. I was like, holy shit, dude. I think that was the last thing I posted on Instagram is I just grabbed all you know, my GoPro footage of like yeah. like six months in that yeah. thing and, and edited this reel yeah. to cool music. Sorry, when did you learn how to fly fucking fighter jets? What, what do you knew? I, I don't know. You're a very interesting <laughs> human. I think you've got a lot of talents. I, I, I can start and fly just about any helicopter out there <laughs> safely. Yeah. Uh, and jets. What's I your mean, favorite helicopter to fly? Oh, uh, hands down, the Little Bird, the MD500. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Things with things with uh, automatic gyros and stuff like that. It's just boring. It's too, and you can't feel it like you can. You like you can feel everything in the Little Bird. And like I've done, I racked up about 12 hours in the H64 sim. So like flying the actual Apache in the sim. And, and like, even that was like too easy. Like you, it's like, turn all the, turn all the auto stuff off. Like, like dude, flying a Blackhawk, like there's just so much computer involved. Work doing it for you. Yeah. 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 Whereas your MD 500s, your little birds, those are, it's push pull tubes. It's raw. Like, Nothing, nothing is helping you. Dude, the, the <laughs> rental car I got, an electric Chrysler Pacifica, I hate it for the same reason. There's no feedback. Like, it's just quiet. There's no noise. You push the gas pedal more. There's no engine yeah, yeah. rev. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing. It's just... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that. I hate this. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm going 75 <laughs> in a 40 yeah. because there's no noise. There's no. It's awful. See, I feel Same like reason. the Trans Am. I should. I should put a manual transmission in and and a handbrake and you know that should be a drift. Yeah, it should be a drift Trans Am. Yeah, that'd be. F- <laughs> no, what? what you have enough what? drift cars? You yeah. leave that whoa, Trans Am whoa, whoa. alone. Well, come on, put what? a manual in it and just make it a fucking mullet burnout mobile. Well, yeah, but yeah. also have a handbrake, you know, no, so we can tub it. Oh, uh, put take the put back some seat, meaty meats take, in there. Take the back seats out. Get some four feet wide tires. Tub it. Oh, oh no. I yeah, don't do that. yeah. Because the back seats are in now. You can no, ride in the back. No, no. <laughs> I want you to breathe on the gas pedal and see nothing but the sky. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool too. Yeah. <laughs> do I mean, it. I, I, dude, a drift Trans Am though. No. Yeah, that's pretty. Cool. No, trust me. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No. it's so powerful. As you can see, my driveway. That was the Trans Am. Man, all the two, all the, mm-hmm. the, the the nice two tracks everywhere. Because I can't go anywhere without it just, you know, roasting the tires off. Mm-hmm. Speaking, of, God, have you seen the Air Force's new advertisement for oh, drift, God, no. drifting the F twenty two? I bet it's, it, dude. No, it's amazing. It's amazing. 
that it's the best fucking military ad I've seen since I was in like middle school when they were like, they were showing like Swick and they're like somewhere some guy's driving a minivan. Yeah. They're like, no, it's that level of fucking awesome. Okay. The new F-22 one, it's like got this like dong and this like slow build up music and it's just the F-22 like getting ready to take off and doing a bunch of, it's doing like the fucking dead leaf maneuver from Maverick and shit. And oh, it's like uh. the earth is 70% water. And thirty percent land, and just fuck. They're shooting missiles and all this shit going off, and what it goes. The yeah. sky is a hundred percent ours, <laughs> yeah. and then it just cuts, and that's the end of the fucking ad. Join the United States Air Force. I was like, that was awesome. Okay. <laughs> was, all right. They're finally doing good ads again. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to war. But anyways, no, so, right. <laughs> they're finally advertising yeah. to people to actually join. Ah, uh, shit. There's a war being yeah. scheduled, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready. I'm not saying put money in Raytheon and Lockheed Martin and L3 Harris, but <laughs> what if what if what if yeah what if they what if in a couple of years they just kick off World War Three and they just mail you what your new job is going to be like what if you get submarines oh, oh god <laughs> <laughs> and like he's like can we trade with other people in the house they're like no. Sorry, no trading. No yeah. trades. Would either. I even be able, like, allowed to be in a submarine? I don't know. I don't like, know. You could like ask the Navy. We should yeah. ask the Navy. They would be like, you, you have should to lose apply. 150 pounds. <laughs> yeah. like, we, need you to, we need you to lose nine inches of width. <laughs> 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 what? Like, what? I don't know if I can do that. How do you do? How do, how do I lose width? We got to get rid of those We bones. have a surgery for yeah. your bones. Yeah, we got to <laughs> cut some from the bones. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I get a, just a different job where I stay this width? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can't have it. Caleb looks all like just crushed together. Yeah. Uh, like, can you move okay? He's like, it uh, hurts. What do you, here's the real question. If you could pick any MOS for Caleb to be in that would be the funniest or he would be the best at, what do you think it the is? The submarine. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm if, telling you right now, Caleb would be the best fucking supply NCO on the planet. No, it would no, be the no, funniest. No, 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 oh, no, supply no. guy, 100%. No, I don't know. I, I want you to picture him the cook on a submarine. Yeah, that just like in Down Periscope. Down Periscope. That, that would actually yeah. be pretty good. He's smoking a cigar. <laughs> He's got the Cracker Jack hat. He's like, oh, today is special. Yeah. We got freaking Salisbury steak and yeah. Salisbury's extra Salisbury. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sure. everybody so. would look forward to, to, to the meals. Yeah, you know, you Caleb's smoke cooking. a cigar and cook. And yeah. Then, All right, that's You're fine. just making yeah. beans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every every meal Sharing has beans. beans and what's that. what's yeah. for breakfast? <laughs> Eggs and fucking cigar ashes. A little bit of cigar in there. <laughs> that would be, be I good at it. I would. I've always wanted to do a submarine movie with oh, us God. because it, it's yeah. it's a way for us to include oh, everybody God. in the film. Mm -hmm. Like you know, because it's a crew. Like yeah. it's a, the whole thing's about a crew. Yeah. So it's like a submarine movie would be fucking hilarious. It's got to be like World War Two era, yes. and, and we're in a diesel powered sub, exactly mm -hmm. where it's just and, a and we're terrible. going after the, Jap the, the entire Japanese. Time. The, the Japanese have <laughs> we have we have stolen, <laughs> we have stolen one of their intel officers and he's locked in a crate and we call it the Jap in a box <laughs> and, and we find out that they have a biological weapon that's the Kraken and we're going after it. Okay, this is the movie. We're going after their squid that they've trained or they made in a lab. Oh, bro, this uh, this already happened, but it was the Germans in World War II. We well, did that with squids? Huh? No, we like we. I know we did literally. With dolphins, we right? kidnapped the Jap in the box. No, we kidnapped the German. So <laughs> yeah. we straight up pulled up and stole their sub and took it and drove it and then put it in fucking Chicago. Okay. <laughs> German U boat five hundred five. There's only one left on Earth. It's in fucking Chicago because America rolled up and stole it. That's gangster. They fucking bro. they hit it. They. I they, wish the military was still that cool. Where oh, like officers amazing. were like, yeah, that is a good idea. This guy ran up, hit it with depth charges so bad that it had to surface and all the Germans evacuated and it was like going down. They put scuttling charges to blow it up and made sure it sinks, right? And then they had like seven dudes. It was like electricians and mechanics that ran in there, shut the gate while the sub was sinking, right? All mm -hmm. the Germans are in fucking life rafts. These guys run in while the thing's sinking. It was mechanics, electricians, and a fucking camera guy. Just- because Pixar didn't happen, right? Yeah. He's, he's sitting there taking pictures. They fucking end up fixing the sub and towing it all the way back to Bermuda. They save it from sinking 
And then they to- they towed it around to New York, Philadelphia, and used it to sell war bonds. Like you could tour a German fucking U boat. Wow. And then after World War II, they stuck it. In That's the what we Chicago. need. We have to bring back war bonds, and then the- and then you could talk politicians Bro. into letting you do cool Bro. things for the military. I just like imagine if we imagine if we sent like fifteen Delta Force guys to fighter pilot school, and then we parachuted them into a- an air base. To just steal. just steal shit yeah. and run. Oh my god, it'd be what fucking hilarious. This? Why is this not a job? Because the military is like, not cool. That's yeah, why. They're not. <laughs> they're, like, imagine if this was like a bur- a, 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 like a, a, a thing in the Marines or like, you know, special reconnaissance is really you're trained to go steal their shit, whether it's a submarine or amazing. a battleship or this whatever. Is, this just gets on. That's like just James Bond levels. Like at that point, like when you're that. No, real life is shit. way dumber than yeah, that. Yeah, it's well, exactly sure, what he yeah. said. You could literally drop those motherfuckers off five miles well, I mean, outside like, of imagine, the base and yeah, they just steal your, it and run. Your yeah. job, like if, if, if we're like really doing that, like we're training like a platoon of yeah. people to operate a fucking warship, like a battleship, and they also can parachute <laughs> and they're sneaky and everything. And yeah. it's like, okay, tonight's the night. You guys are parachuting into the O Link Sea, into this harbor, and you're taking this battleship. Like, <laughs> Be hilarious. It'd be so cool. Damn. And then and then all the countries, imagine the press releases when they're like, hey, America, stop. <laughs> like, stop. You got these guys that are real good at stealing our shit. Like, like, yeah. China wakes well, up and they're missing fuck. an aircraft carrier. <laughs> like, like, wait, how did you get this sitting in San Diego? <laughs> that's like Mount Hope 3 when we stole the hind. You remember that? No. America fucking, you know, the hind, uh, yeah, the, the Russian hind attack helicopter. helicopter. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's like talk everything fucking Russia does. Everybody talks up, right? Mm-hmm. So they were talking about this helicopter, like it's the best fucking attack helicopter ever, blah, 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 blah. And they, America fucking found one that they had like sold to like Jordan or Libya or some shit. And there was a civil war and they were fighting. And uh, America sent out the 160th uh, Night Stalkers. They had two C-5s, C-5 galaxies. They took Chinooks and stuck them in the C-5s, flew them from America to the neighboring country, pulled out the Chinooks, assembled them, got them spooled up. Those guys flew into the next country over, had the mechanics take the rotors and everything off the hind, strapped it to it, and sling-loaded it out of the fucking country, flying with the helicopter beneath it, took it all the way over into the neighboring country, disassembled it, took the Chinooks apart, stuck all of it back in C5s, took off, and it was in America in like two days. See? It was incredible. This needs to be an entire branch. Yeah. The thieving branch. Yeah. <laughs> Steel. Like, it's not the name. Strategically yeah, transfer mom. equipment to an alternate location. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They can have my want to. Yeah. I want to enlist in steel. And that sounds pretty good. It'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you know, obviously I'm old and washed up now, so I just want to be a planner. <laughs> I'll just be a strategic planner and steal. Just you walking Dude, this and is doing the movie. briefings would be hilarious. Yeah. All right. What are we going to do? We're going to get that Chinese aircraft carrier. The president's like, what? Like, <laughs> we, I, we got a good plan. Yeah, put down a <laughs> Corpus Christi. <laughs> Listen here. <laughs> Think. Volcanoes. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next step it's is like work. if you steal something, you have to like display it in a place that's not accessible by water. Oh no, we we uh we put the hind. It's in a fucking aircraft museum in Alabama. <laughs> yeah, it's just sitting there. We yeah. we stole the hind and we're like, oh, this thing actually kind of sucks. Donate it to a museum. It's yeah. on. For you could go see it today. We didn't do shit with it. It's hilarious. Okay. okay. Wow. Just stealing shit and put it in museums. Yeah. Great Britain would be proud. Well, you gotta be you. You gotta get down here and get oh, get get on here with us every time you're in town because yeah. this I is mean, always whatever yeah, you need. This is interesting. I'm happy to be every should, time. Yeah. And we just invented a new service branch. Yeah. That'd be awesome, by the way. Which is way cooler than Space Force. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It'd be yeah great. especially because steel. We could steal other people's space equipment, and we can make Space Force way cooler. It's true. I yeah. saw a Space Force guy yesterday in HEB. I still don't know what they do. HEB. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, satellites and Pokadoos and stars and Picados and, you know, Windenheimer works over there yeah. now or something like Wait, that. what happened? Yeah, Wim, Wim Womer uh, using his karate and ninja skills and, right? I think they just sure. want to put the nerdy nerds in a different building. Yeah, they, got, they were roasting them too much. So yeah. You guys, go, like, you guys hey, get a look at Guys, Spray. we need the computers. Uh, like, like, whatever nerd, they're like, uh, we need them, guys. <laughs> <laughs> whatever nerd, all right, we're going to give them their own building. <laughs> All right, well, God, this was great. Yeah, thank yeah. you. You're it's not always just saying fun. That. Yeah, no, yeah, you're not, not just saying that, are you? Learning a lot. Oh, I like that. Sorry. I enjoy. 
I try. And the knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, every He's time. He's our teacher. Yeah. Oh, God. Pretty much. It's terrifying. Teacher of the gods. Oh, no. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Thank you.